Okay, so a little fun thing I decided to do today, not doing much. Um, I have this 8-track player that's just kind of been sitting around my house for years now. Uh, we've moved it three, four times, because I moved just about every year. But uh, I don't really know if it still works or not, because I know the, uh, the belts inside kind of, uh, you know, break over time. They get nasty and mushy, so I don't know if that needs to be replaced or not. So I'm on my way to the thrift store to go see if they have any tapes, 8-track tapes, of course. And... Um, if they do, I'm going to try to pick up a few, test them out, and see if the player still works. So, wish me luck. Alright, so I'm leaving the thrift store now. I went there to look for... Bleh, went there to look for an 8-track tape. And coincidentally, they only had one in the whole entire store. And also coincidentally, it's actually a good one. Kiss uh, Double Platinum. And coincidentally, for the third time, it's sealed, brand new, in the box, never open. So... Hopefully that'll work, hopefully there's no problems with it, and I'm on my way home now to go test it out and see if, one, if the tape works, and two, if the uh, A-Track player still works. So, stay tuned, I guess we'll find out what's going on with it. Hey, I told you I wasn't going to be gone long. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, I'm back home, let's go ahead and dig into this. I've never actually opened an A-Track before, like a sealed one, so this is, uh... This is new for me. This is my first time. Got my knife. And, uh, I don't even, I probably don't even need a knife, but I'm just going to be as careful with this as I can. I got it open. I just put a little slit at the bottom. Hopefully I can slide the tape right out. And that does not seem to be the case. So, let me pinch it. There we go. Alright. Here it is. Let's go, uh, try it out. Alright, so I've got my 8-track player on top of my turntable. I don't generally like to put things on there. However, the RCA plugs for this thing are only about a foot and a half long, so there's not much play. So, for the sake of this, uh, just testing it out, I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to power this on. And I have it plugged in through auxiliary, so I'm going to press that. Now let's go ahead and insert this tape. copyright reasons but uh cool I'm glad it works all right so that works I'm extremely glad about that so the tape is fine it should be it's brand new but even then these little foam pads under here um, deteriorate over time the uh, the splicing the foil it splits and uh, it tracks have all kinds of problems if you're not familiar with them just read a review online most people don't like them but uh, yeah I'm glad that works so the reason why I wanted to test it out was I've had this Boston tape for probably like three or four years now and before I got this I actually got this 8-track player for my mom for her birthday because my great-grandma gave her a rec like a pre-recorded like home recorded 8-track uh, of her telling a story when she was just a little girl so I got this for my mom's birthday and then we put it in there and this is before I was educated on 8-track so I didn't know that, you know, they deteriorate over time, they get worse and worse as time goes on, and uh, it ate the tape. So sadly, we didn't get to listen to it, but before I bought this, we did test it out, and it worked fine. So I picked this up, I'm like, Boston's a good band, let's just get this so it doesn't go to a complete waste, and I put it in, and nothing. You know, the tape wasn't moving or anything, I thought maybe it was too tight, so I took it apart. Turns out the, uh, the foil splicing actually broke, so I replaced that, and then even then, still, it didn't spin, and I just, I gave up on it. So, here we go. I tested it out. It does work, so now I can go ahead and, I guess, build my 8-track collection. If I think that's something worth uh, building up, it's probably not. But, you know, if I see a good tape in good condition, I'll pick it up. Why not? I'll listen to it. So, uh, that's that. Thanks for watching, and uh, deuces. All right, so I did a little bit of research on this uh, 8-track cartridge, and sadly, this is actually part one of a two-part uh, set. But that's okay. I'm still glad that I got it. I was able to test out the 8-track player, and I actually listened to this tape. So not a waste. I'm glad. I'm glad.
Thanks for watching.